We'll talk about the 1804 Haitian Declaration of Independence, right? So we're in the age of revolution. America just had one. France just had one. And now you have Haiti, where the oppressed are going to become the oppressors, right? So success, right? The oppressed get to become the military uh, dictator. And unfortunately, that is the legacy of Toussaint Louverture was that he was a dictator towards his own people. So, and also with the 1804 Declaration of Independence. This is after Toussaint Louverture had died. Now, they had just won. They defeated the French. And they're declaring to the generals. That he's assembled a group of generals, uh, Dessalines has. And he has said that, you know what? This is bullshit. For 14 fucking years, we fought for freedom. We fought for independence. So right now, today, now now that we won, you need to say for today and for the, ever and ever that you will always remain independent and free. You will always remain uh, free men. The only way France has ever been able to take over other countries is if the people did not rebel and fight against them. So that's a great test to see how good, you know, how strong their, a person's nationalism is. So that was the main point for the 1804 uh, 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 Declaration of Independence. So their declaration was, fuck you white man, fuck you French, specifically the French. Uh, in fact, he didn't even mention white or black in this document. We're going to see that in the uh, 1805 Constitution. But uh, go fuck yourself, you pieces of shit, you fucking French motherfuckers. You will feel the uh, fear and you will tremble if you come upon our coast ever again, you sons of bitches. Fuck you. Fuck you until the day we die. We will never submit to you. We will fight you until we die. We will never, ever. And so that's the point. That is the point. So the passion and the intensity of the Haitian Revolution is spelled out. All on this document. Dessalines himself was illiterate, so he's dictating this document to somebody else. Dessalines can't read or write, but he does speak this out in Creole, uh, out loud to the people that was around, but the secretary, Boys Rond Tonier, Tonieri, Tonieri, Tonieri. This is, imp I'm impressed by all these documents, all these writings. The Constitution, it has many articles. It's separated into departments. There's a Constitutional Convention to St. Louis had called one in. Then uh, Dessalines is going to write a uh, brand new Constitution, too. So this is amazing. This is incredible. So for the rest of the world, there's two things they get to see, right? you got the southern slave owners. You have other colonies in the Caribbean, uh, other oppressor European colonies that have used African slave labor. But the main thing with Dessalines, and even though all those people are afraid of just the act of uh, men, black men standing up and overthrowing the white oppressor. Just that very act strikes heart in every single one of those piece of shit oppressors, which is why he does say that the despots and tyrants cursed the day that I was born. Jean Jacques Dessalines. Despots, despots and tyrants cursed the day I was born. So, despots, it's a dictator, right? So, despots, uh, dictators, dictators and tyrants cursed the day I was born. Dictators and tyrants also cursed the day I was born. So, Jean-Jacques Dessalines, he actually didn't write the Haitian Declaration of Independence. He got Boys Ron Teneri to write it. And the reason why he got this Teneri guy to write it was because he had suggested on to use the paper, why don't we use the skin of the white man for parchment, the paper to write on it, his skull for an inkwell, his blood for ink and a bayonet for a pen. So he very much was saying, you know, fuck the white man up with this. And that's the very spirit. That's the very spirit of this entire document. So it's, you know, it's written 200 years ago. So it's like written in longhand form. So it seems like some of the paragraphs isn't completely developed. But again, the, the strength of it is that we're fucking free. We're going to be independent for the rest of our goddamn lives. You can't take our sovereignty away. We are free men and we will always be free men. And But unfortunately, what freedom means for Dessalines isn't exactly freedom for everybody else. He seems to understand, but then he kind of uh, contradicts himself when he sits there and says that they must uh, submit to those who command him. So he's basically saying, I'm the man, I'm the one who stayed here, I'm the one who did all this shit, so you will sustain the liberty that you cherish 
and support the leader who commands you. So support the new dictator that's in town, and that's uh, exactly the kind of government Dessaline is going to run. He's going to get killed by his own people in a year or two, and that's... Uh, I don't know. I mean, I guess it's a mixed bag here. So, uh, because they hate the French, they're going to go kill all the French in the island, and it's to scare the shit out of the French. They do spare the Germans. They spare the Polish. They also spare light-skinned blacks. So, if they were mostly white, a little bit black, Dessaline is going to call them all black, but that's in the 1805 Constitution. He doesn't mention white or black. There's many problems with this. Uh, Declaration of Independence, to be honest with you. First of all, he, uh, you know, is basically saying, I'm the new dictator in town. So if we're talking about freedom and we're talking about fighting against tyranny and despotism and dictatorship, and then he's going to be the brand new tyrant and the despot and the dictator, well, there's a huge contradiction there that, uh, you know, I'm sure it's easy for you to rectify, but for the rest of the people, how are they supposed to rectify it? So uh, he. Uh, you know, like I said, the in intensity, we're our independent, we're going to be independent forever, so the political implications cannot be uh, understated, so it was very important that they did that, and it was to, written to the French government, basically to scare the shit out of them, we killed your little clerk, we don't give a fuck, come back here, we'll kill you again, and so uh, the, the problems with it is that he only wants revolution in one country. He's more of a Stalinist than a Trotskyist. He doesn't want perpetual revolution in all the countries and all the nations. He says to the French, we're not going to touch our neighbors. We're not going to go to the other Caribbean islands and try to promote freedom there. We're not going to go to the United States and we're not going to inspire rebellions there. So he says we're only going to have a revolution in one country. So don't be afraid. Don't be worried. We're only, we only hate the French. And it says it over and over again. The French are execution. The French are dogs. We will fight for independence until our last breath. We will forever renounce f France. So just fuck France. Fuck France, you know, um, uh, up until uh, up until noon. Fuck France up until <laughs> all the way to the evening. Fuck France into the dawn, into the early morning, right? Just keep fucking France until there is no more France to be fucked. So that's that's the essential. The problems with the Declaration of Independence is that he did not want an, uh, a government, a democracy. He did not want a republic. Dessalines did not push for a, a republic. He did not push for the people to vote. He did not push for the people to be part of their government. He did not push for the people to be uh, submit to those that they consent to, the consent of the governed. So that's why we have elections. And I'm not for sure if he's going to install elections or not. He's going to be a military dictator. He's going to get the independence. He fought the war. He won the war. He gets to become king for a year or two. He writes the Constitution, brand new Constitution, consolidates the revolution, but you're going to have political turmoil for, you know, for years upon years. And so these are these obvious, uh, now, you know, Haiti's got their shit together when it comes to democracy and voting and the three branches of government, but Dessalines did not care about these things. He did not want a liberal democracy. When he was talking about freedom, he was not talking about the people having the power of, by, and for the people kind of government. He was talking about him being the king, the white man, the French can never long, you know, can no longer oppress him. But Dessalines definitely was. Dessalines actually was uh, a, um, he fought against the revolution for uh, a period, eventually choosing the right side. But Dessalines was not always a Haitian revolutionary. He very much was fighting against the revolutionaries. He was also a very strict military leader. So whenever there was any mutinies or people talking about, you know, we're sick of this shit, Dessalines was the one that would kill him or beat the shit out of him. And he wouldn't do it with a whip. He would do it with something else. So the whip was the symbol of slavery and oppression. But they would just find other things to whip each other with. A cane or sugar cane or some other shit. So just because they didn't use a whip, now they use a stick. So is that better? I guess so. It's, you know, a whip that has that, that snap. And when, the reason why it snaps is because it's actually breaking the sonic boom, right? <laughs> Well, it's uh, breaking the sound, uh, it's a sonic boom, so it's uh, going faster than the speed of sound, and therefore you're hearing that sonic boom. So, uh, Dessalines, or more specifically, the secretary, Boisron Toneri, he recognizes basically there's a lot of similarities. The Americans had the exact same thing that we had to worry about. We just defeated the British, 
And we should have sided with the French, actually, the French revolutionaries. The French actually helped America defeat the British. But most Americans forget all about this. It's why we have a lot of French words in our vocabulary. Touche. Oh, touche. No, you won. Good point. Touche, my friend. And uh, he's got that certain je ne sais quoi. Oh, meet my fiancé. Oh, fiancé. This is my fiancé. Right. My fiancé, <laughs> that's my friends, my fiancé has that certain je ne sais quoi, uh, but she's a bitch too, ah, touche, touche. So Dessaline had all of his general sign, the Declaration of Independence, and uh, it, this is a good line here, let us walk down another path, let us imitate those people who, extending their concern into the future and dreading to leave an example of cowardice for posterity, Preferred to be exterminated rather than lose their place as one of the world's free peoples. So out of the entire world, who's got the free people? So with the Haitian people and the French, in terms of their laws, in terms of their habits, in terms of their towns, names, words, language, laws, habits, everything still carries the stamp of the French. And that was the same thing with the British and the Americans. We sp spoke English. We were Christians. So there was... a. Uh, you know, the habits and customs of private property, a lot of things. A lot of things came from the British. So it was like, we are our, co you guys are basically our cousins. And so they, you know, the Americans and the Haitians are going to fuck up in this uh, very important way. They're going to be nice to their former oppressors. And then eventually their former oppressors are going to seep right in and then strangle them from the inside. <laughs> Uh, more so for Haiti than the American people, but uh, uh, for America, that was stupid. We Why is British our friend? When we invade fucking countries, now Britain is right on our fucking back, right? Like a little, you know, little tiny sidekick or some shit. So what the fuck is that about? They used to be the empire of the entire world, now they just suck the empire's dick. That's their new place in this world. And what did we get out of that? We've inherited the British Empire's legacy. We could have inherited the French Revolutionary or the Haitian Revolutionary's legacy. And because of the Haitian Revolution, there's 13 American states that the French sold the Louisiana Purchase to Thomas Jefferson, doubling the size of the United States and adding uh, at least pieces of 13 states. So 13 states, I think including Colorado, uh, need to thank the uh, Toussaint Louverture and the Dessalines and all them for fighting the French, bankrupting the French, defeating the French, so that way they would sell the Louisiana Purchase and then buy all that land. So, this is a major problem, right? You're French, you're still speaking the French tongue, all the habits and the towns, everything, uh, but basically, it's, you know, it just acknowledging that's going to be a problem, right? It's going to be... It's going to be tough. How are we going to break out of these shackles? We talk just like you. You ripped our tongue out. You stole our land. It makes me think of a Malcolm X quote. Who are you? You don't know. Uh, don't tell me, Negro. That's nothing. Well, who were you before the white man called you a Negro? What was yours? What was your name then? What tongue did you speak? Where is your history? Where did it go? Who took your history? How did the man take your history? What did the man do to make you as dumb as you are right now? So that's the black power, right? So where do black people come from? Why are the Haitian blacks in Haiti? And since now we're brand new people, we got to, you know, cultural regeneration. We got to redefine ourselves. We're not African slaves and we're not Frenchmen. We are Haitians. And so this is what Dessaline is talking about. So the one problem is they're not going to expand the revolution to the Caribbean or to the United States. They just believe in anathema to the French name, eternal hatred of France. That's all they give a shit about. That's the main point of all this. He wants to frighten all those who would dare to take Haiti from us again. Let's begin with the French. Let them tremble when they approach our coast. If not from the memory of those cruelties they perpetuated here, then from the terrible resolution that we will have made to put to death anyone born French whose profane foot soils the land of liberty. You come to the land of liberty, we just killed your French man. How, how you like us now? I bet you'll think twice about coming to Haiti now. So that was a big thing was that the one revolution, revolution in one country is not going to expand it. He doesn't mention black, white, or mulatto, brown, white, or black. So he's not getting into the race. It is going to be the first black republic, and he's going to exterminate the French and basically purify the black race is what he's doing. So he's going to kill all the whites 
And then the ones that were already mixed, he's like, all right, from here on out, you guys are black. You know, so basically he believes in the one drop rule too. And he also defends the Germans and the Polish people because the Germans and the Polish people fought on the side of the Haitian people. Uh, and so that's remarkable. I very much side with my German ancestry. And this is before Germany was a country. So this would have been Prussians or this would have been, you know, the Hessians or some other Bavarians or something. But they were German speaking peoples and Polish peoples. And that's where the strength of the German character comes from. Poland, according to Nietzsche. Now, fuck that. What? N Nisha? Nisha? Y'all snobby ass motherfuckers. It's Nietzsche, and I don't give a fuck who the fuck wants to correct me. You ain't gonna civilize me. I'm just like Huckleberry motherfucking Finn motherfuckers. Quintessential American novel. You can't get more American than Huckleberry fucking Finn. <laughs> so that's the whole point of the Haitian Revolution. A laser uh, pointed focus. A very precise focus. An anathema, anathema, whatever, hatred. Eternal hatred for the French people. And I have a mixture of, you know, love and hate for France. I totally feel for Dessaline. Yeah, fuck those French motherfuckers up. Kill every single one of them. Just, you know, don't don't fuck with the Germans or the Polish. Leave them be. Um, but because the, the uh, traditional task of the oppressed is to uh, liberate them and their oppressor. They gotta liberate both. And that's Paul Freire, which now that I think about, why the fuck do you got to liberate your oppressor? By you being free, you've already liberated your oppressor. Now they can, you know, work on how to be free or find some other motherfucker to oppress. So, Dessaline, okay, so I think this is a very important that he's talking about freedom and liberty and he's against tyranny, but he's going to be the brand new tyrant, so he's just against French tyranny, he's against the white foreign powers, if anybody's going to oppress you, then it's going to be me, that's what Dessaline is essentially saying, he doesn't want to expand the revolution to uh, Cuba or, you know, um, Aruba, Bahama, come on pretty moment, none of those countries, uh, Key Largo. He doesn't want the slaves of Key Largo to be free, nor of the slaves of Florida or so the southern plantations. I think he's just basically saying, I don't want no trouble with none of you assholes, but it's not articulate because that, uh, think about if he would have tried to export the revolution elsewhere. The whole world knew about it. The whole world took notice, so he shook the whole world just by, even today, it's the only uh, nation that the slaves actually rebelled and got their own country. So, that's uh, even today what uh, Dessalines uh, did in Haiti in 1804 is still fucking rocking, you know, the core of Western civilization today, which is why the Western powers like to meddle in Haiti's business, get capitalism in there, overthrow their fucking presidents, make sure they try to take their sovereignty away as best as they can. It's also on... Uh, a fault line, there's earthquakes and a lot of hurricanes. It's really just a shitty location for anybody to live on. And it's kind of crazy that the French were able to take some shitty ass island, put a bunch of uh, black folks, uh, African slaves that they captured and forced them, and uh, make it into a, a success story. Why did you, you didn't need Haiti to do that. You could have done that, on, you know, in every, you know, maybe because it was uh, on the. Uh, whatever, the um, equator so they could raise things, but to raise things in Haiti 200 years ago and then to ship it back to France that somehow was economically sound. So um, the U.S. who had lots of Englishmen who owned slaves, they were terrified of what Dessalines was doing, but they had no reason to because he wasn't going to go to expand it. So he could have easily expanded it, just said the thing, just put a scare into everybody. And then, you know, perhaps people would have been excited if he would have came and invaded and liberated other nations and other black folks. But instead of doing that, he's like, oh, I won the war. I'm the fucking dictator now. All you Haitian blacks need to kiss my ass. I'm the fucking man now. And the, the problem with the uh, liberty, freedom, these are good things. But in order to have political freedom, political liberty, you must vote. Voting is the least you can do. If you don't vote, you don't matter. If you don't vote, you don't matter. And voting is the very least that you could do politically. You could run for office. You could be the politician. You could be the one that's in power. You could have state authority. You could become a police officer. You could become a diplomat. There's so many things that you can do. Uh, you could talk to the government, pay attention to them, call them up, make sure that they are doing what they say that they're going to do, uh, holding them to account. You could write letters. You can have demonstrations. So there's many ways to be politically, uh, uh, I guess, any kind of action, right? So spending money, 
any kind of uh, fascist force. You can, if it's for, you know, health care for everybody, if it's for Indian police brutality, all those behaviors, all those actions are political uh, by themselves, in of themselves. So how are you going to, uh, as a political person, you're a political person regardless, are you going to expand your political power or are you just going to say deny it, pretend that you don't have it? That's actually a good tactic. Oh, I don't talk about that there politics. Now you better shut your mouth when you talk about the Republicans. Well, are you for censorship or are you for freedom of speech? Are you for not talking about politics or totally talking about politics all the goddamn time? So, Dessalines doesn't mention democracy, doesn't mention being ruled by the people, he doesn't mention liberal democratic republics, nor the three branches of government, which is genius. The world uh, all over has got three branches of government, which is uh, to fight, to prevent tyranny, but it's also arbitrary. It's arbitrary. There is no point in having it, except for to stop tyranny. So, that's why we want democracies, we want republics, we don't want kings, we don't want autocrats. And Dessalines is going to be an autocrat. He's going to be a dictator. He's going to be a despot. So exactly, he's going to become the very thing that he was against. Uh, he's going to write a constitution. So he's going to be a constitutional monarch. So that's better than just a monarch. But it's not a democracy. So there's no parliament, no legislatures, no elected government. Nobody's elected. There's going to be no secession. It's going to be Dessaline, emperor for life. Get the fuck over it. And what about the rule of law? Dessaline is the law. Dessaline doesn't mention the peaceful turnover of power when you have elections and then a brand new government. Not of by for the people. No individual freedoms being protected by a bill of rights. So there's no Bill of Rights, there's no Democratic Republic here, no three branches of government, no rule of law, there's no democracy. He's not talking about freedom for the people. He's talking about freedom from French oppression, freedom from French tyranny, and that's it. And then he says, you will sustain the liberty that you cherish and support the leader who commands you. So he only meant freedom from the French oppressors, but not freedom from his own oppression. He did not have the ambition to expand it. I wish he would have. Uh, the American slave owners were no doubt terrified at Dessalines. They didn't have any rhyme or reason to be so terrified because he wasn't even going to go to Edizini. So, dictate yo ac tirenio. Madishon ju akimwe te fet map de gaje moi kan met Jean Jacques coupe tet brule kai be like Jean Jacques we all need to be more like Jean Jacques Rousseau so while he oppressed his own people as a man he was he's the one that's leading his nation so I guess he was saying as the symbol as the monarch. He will never submit to the French, and he wanted the entire Haitian people to be on board with that. And so in that, he was successful. He was successful for the War of Independence. To St. Louverture had lost against the French. Dessaline carried the baton on, got Haitian independence, and eventually he's going to die for all of this, for the Constitution, for the Declaration. But if it wasn't for the Dessalines and the National Anthem for the Haitian uh, nation is the Dessalines, La Dessalines, something uh, French title, but it just means the Song of Dessalines. So the Song of Dessalines is their national anthem, the Song of Dessalines. So Dessalines is huge. He would be the first president. He would be the first leader of the free nation. And so all of Haiti begins with Dessalines. Uh, that's when Haiti became Haiti, right? You could feel like a Haitian, but until you won, you weren't a Haitian until 1804. So, coupe tet brule kai. Coupe tet. That means chop off heads, burn houses. That's what he had said after he wrote this Declaration of Independence when he went into the French neighborhood. Just start chopping off heads, burning in houses. So, coupe tet brule kai. Then that other thing is a saying, map de gage moi con met Jean-Jacques. Something about we need to be more like Jean-Jacques. So we need to act like Jean-Jacques Degage. I'm not sure what Degage is, but map, 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 Degage, moi, con met Jean-Jacques. And then uh, dictators and tyrants uh, will curse the day I was born. <laughs> so that's a badass fucking quote. So Dessaline, give us that badass quote. Next, it's the author, that other guy, Tonary. To Tonary. 
So he's the one that wrote the uh, Declaration of Independence. All this matters because um, what is the law currently in Haiti? It's the 1987 Constitution with the 2012 Amendments. But uh, there's the spirit of Haiti. What is the spirit of Haiti? And I actually noticed in all constitutions, the 1805 and the 1801 and the 18, uh, 1987, they all protect private property. Is that something the Haitian people have always been? Uh, private property has always been what the Haitian people have wanted. Uh, to Saint, he was a plantation owner, so of course he wants private property. The leaders always want private property. But for poor Haiti, it seems like they very much need a collectivization, not the farm collectives, but uh, not even a collective, actually. They, I wouldn't mind them all getting a piece of farm. They need a land reform, and, and every Haitian gets 10 acres. So I'm going to figure that out, actually, right now. How many acres could the Haitian people get if it was evenly distributed amongst all 11 million? So anyways, that's on the 1804 Haitian Declaration of Independence. I think it's it. There was something else I was thinking about earlier that it sort of failed in. Um, but not exporting the revolution, not really seeing the important, you know, person that he was on the world stage. He was right that the despots and tyrants did tremble that he was ever born, but he uh, wasn't going to invade them. So they had no reason to be afraid. And then because he wasn't aggressive with invading, you know, uh, he was also not a race. He wasn't a Haitian revolutionary the whole time. He fought against the revolution. He was fighting for um, the Spanish for a moment. I don't know exactly, but uh, he was uh, not for Toussaint. They were against each other. And then Moise, there was the, Moise was in favor of land reform, and then eventually he's going to get killed. Anyways, so that's uh, the Haitian Declaration of Independence. Remember that it's passionate. Remember that it was powerful, and it was eternal hatred for the French. Uh, independence or death, eternal hatred for the French. And that's really much, that's pretty much it. Uh, the other things is just French or dogs and executioners and their pieces of shit and fuck the French. And uh, then the things that he did not put in, I think, is actually probably more important. Because when the, uh, the laws of America, we have the U.S. Constitution, but we got the Declaration of Independence, too. And the Declaration of Independence codifies some of our freedoms and rights. And it also says who we are as Americans. Sometimes you got to dissolve the political bands which bound you from one to another. Sometimes you got to overthrow your fucking master. Sometimes you got to have a fucking revolution. So that's the, you know, Declaration of Independence of America, and that's actually the Declaration of Independence for Haiti, too. Sometimes you got to overthrow the fucking oppressors. Whether they be black or white, sometimes the oppressors just got to fucking go. They just got to fucking go. They just got to. So, John Masters, I'm out of Pueblo, Colorado, May 23rd, 2018. Peace.